Welcome to a new video about simulating uh, old computer architectures. Uh, this time we have an uh, Intel X4 mode 40 uh, system with an attached uh, teletype, an uh, ISR33 teletype. Uh, previously we talked about simulating an Intel X4 uh, which was based on uh, an Intel uh, 4004 CPU. Uh, this time we have an Intel X4 Mod 40 which is based on an Intel uh, 4040 CPU. I will make in the future a uh, video about uh, this particular system. But uh, today uh, we're going to speak about this uh, teletype. So it was uh, usual in the old days uh, to have a teletype connected to a system. This allowed us to send uh, commands via the teletype uh, keyboard and uh, the results were printed uh, on paper. In addition, uh, many teletypes uh, also had a paper tape reader, uh, which allowed loading uh, programs from paper tape uh, into the system. Uh, back then, uh, there wasn't an uh, UART available, so uh, communication was handled uh, via single bits. And uh, actually, for this particular model, it was connected uh, using a current loop interface. But from the point of view of the simulation, we are only interested in the fact that uh, communication was done via single bits and not bytes. Uh, this meant uh, that uh, the communication speed uh, was a bit slower and also uh, the communication itself had to be implemented in uh, software uh, in order to send uh, a byte uh, by sending each uh, bit. Uh, so let's take a look at this uh, simulation. Uh, as uh, mentioned in previous videos, uh, I usually implement uh, simulated uh, devices using uh, real uh, pictures, so this is not a drawing or a rendering, it's a real picture. Uh, I don't own uh, teletypes, so this is a picture that I found uh, on the internet. It's not uh, necessarily uh, the highest possible resolution, so if anyone has a better picture, then please share it in the comments, and maybe I will uh, use it. Uh, so, uh, here uh, the system is already started, as you can see. Uh, it is uh, loaded with a monitor, ROM, so uh, we can uh, interact with it. I will uh, just try a couple of commands, for example, uh, D, uh, which uh, means uh, display for memory location uh, 0 to memory location 10. Uh, remember, this is in uh, hexadecimal, so uh, it will show us the content, it's currently uh, 0. Uh, one thing to note is that uh, the communication is done with a reduced set of ASCII characters. So uh, you can use your own keyboard, but regardless if you have caps lock on or not, uh, it will only send uh, capital letters because this is what uh, was available on the teletype keyboard. Okay, uh, so uh, we have all zeros in memory location uh, starting with zero and ending with uh, 10 in hexadecimal. Uh, what we can do is uh, try to load <coughs> a program uh, from paper tape. So in this case I've added this button here on the simulation 
<coughs> you can uh, use it to select a hex file well actually you can select any file but uh, it, uh, the, it may load only hex files in this monitor application and uh, now I can uh, enter the command R0 uh, which indicates uh, to read uh, to memory location 0 well, starting with memory location 0 and uh, now it uh, indicates that it finished loading we see dot sign here and uh, now we can take a look at uh, what's available uh, in uh, memory location 0 to 10 and uh, we can see the program I already did a video about uh, hex file format so uh, if you haven't watched it uh, you should take a look after finishing this one uh, so um, the hex file uh, has a structure containing uh, a byte count an address uh, record type uh, actual data and the checksum so uh, you can see actual data here uh, was loaded uh, it starts with uh, 28 00 29 and so on and uh, as we uh, enter this uh, display command uh, we see uh, the same values 28 00 29 and so on so uh, this confirms uh, the program was indeed loaded uh, correctly in the memory so this monitor application uh, has the ability to display uh, in hex format so uh, I've entered this uh, W command uh, which uh, produced a hex file format uh, for the first uh, 16 uh, bytes of memory and because uh, 10 here is in hexadecimal so uh, this means uh, 16 uh, bytes uh, actually also considering uh, the first byte at address 0 uh, we should have 17 bytes so from address 0 to the 16th uh, address uh, including both 0 and the 16th address also this monitor application knows about another format uh, which is called uh, BPNF uh, I will probably make a video about this format as well it uh, basically uses only these characters uh, B, P, N and F as you can see uh, every byte is encoding is encoded using P and N uh, it starts with B and it ends with F so this is it uh, now on a real uh, teletype uh, you may uh, activate uh, a paper tape puncher if uh, it had one and uh, this may be uh, written onto paper tape uh, in our case the simulation does not support uh, also uh, writing this so you can only see it here uh, now again if we look at this uh, range of addresses we see the same as before uh, I can also uh, uh, enter the command I uh, which will uh, actually invert data uh, I've entered again the range 0 to 10 okay and now if we display the data uh, we see uh, that it was actually uh, negated uh, also the monitor application uh, will allow uh, programming uh, prom device uh, however the simulation uh, does not allow this uh, if you uh, want to uh, use a hex file you can simply set it in the simulation file and it will be loaded as a ROM so you don't actually need uh, to program uh, anything uh, but in this case of course the monitor application tried uh, to program it and it sends an error message because it was not able to do so 
So uh, <clears throat> this concludes this video. Uh, I will uh, make another one about uh, the actual Java implementation for the ISR33 teletype. And uh, in the future I will uh, create also videos about uh, the Intellect 4 mode 40 and uh, the associated CPU. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.